that they're going to provide counseling to you and your federal fellow students if you want uh, it. Having been traumatized, obviously going through such a traumatic event that most of us can't even can't even comprehend. Um, really, the the entire community <clears throat> has stepped up, and um, there was support counseling at the Parkland YMCA, and um, it was really helpful to a lot of my friends. And, and Kyle, you've called yourself a conservative, right, and a supporter of the yes, Second Amendment. Has this impact? Yes, has this incident impacted your views? Uh, it's only slightly. I still believe in the Second Amendment and its um, importance to our nation. Um, I really, it's, it's just been dissatisfying to see the um, Never Again movement slightly switch from simply um, making sure that um, this will never happen again to uh, gun control. But I, at the end of the day, I still think that the entire community and the Never Again movement is still heavily pushing um, to make sure that school shootings will be a thing of the past. And I really, I'm really happy to see the entire community come together uh, as a bipartisan issue to work for a better change. Yeah, especially since there were so many signs and signals that were there and were missed. Did, had you ever seen or heard about Nicholas Cruz? Um, obviously, he was told, don't come back to up, I'm sorry? Up until, like, the school shooting, I'd never known of his existence. But my friends did. I had some friends that were in classes with him, and they always told, they, they told me now that they always knew something was off about him. What did they say about him? What did, what did people know um, about him? They said that he was he was an outcast. Um, he wasn't really understood. They considered him somewhat of a, of, of a weirdo, if I could quote. Um, he didn't have a lot of friends, but no one ever thought that he would do such a thing. Yeah. So the governor, Rick Scott, has some proposals on the table for the state, including arming teachers, administrators. Listen mm -hmm. to this. I want to get your reaction. Uh, my plan is to spend $500 million to make our schools safe to invest the dollars in mental illness, uh, mental illness to make sure this never happens again. We need to increase the collaboration between our local sheriffs, our police departments, our schools, uh, Department of Children and Families, and DJJ. We, we've got to make sure we have an increased law enforcement presence on, in all of our schools. So, Kyle, what do you think about those ideas? I mean, a minute ago you said you'd like to see uh, mothers uh, volunteer. Would you want to see teachers armed? I think that simply proposing that here, I think it's a really complex issue. And um, in certain counties, there's a response time of like 15 minutes for the police to reach the school. And um, studies show that the first shots in the school shooting are only in five minutes. So practically, <laughs> the school is, um, is unarmed for 15 minutes and unable to defend themselves. And simply like giving the teachers the opportunity to like defend their students. Um, is a good thing, and all levels of the school system in that county have to allow the teacher, and the teacher um, the, himself or herself has to voluntarily um, do the training to, to be able to carry a gun at school. Kyle, where were you when you first learned there was an active shooter in school? I was in a very close adjacent building, and um, in the beginning I thought that it was, it, it was, didn't sound like gunshots at all because they were so muffled, but I later realized that because it was in the freshman building, um, they sounded muffled. And, and what, what happened? What did you, what were you told? Can you walk us through it? Yes, ma'am. So I was in um, my last period class, and uh, there was a fire drill, so I was grudgingly walking out, and then I didn't want to leave the classroom. And then I heard Vice Principal Porter on the announcement saying evacuate immediately. We evacuated immediately into the main hallway, and then we heard two pops. I didn't think it was gunshots. Uh, people started panicking, so um, I went to run back into my teacher's classroom, and um, he closed the door on me. Um, he closed the door on like a few of my uh, fellow students and he wouldn't let us in, which he followed a procedure, he did. Um, he feels terrible for what he did, but it's completely understandable because he had no idea who the shooter was. Um, so then we quickly ran into another teacher's room and she piled us in there. Um, we then, we hid in the closet for um, two hours and then constantly um, we were getting feeds for our friends and our, our um, family were contacting us and then everyone was hysterically crying and I was trying to calm everyone down. And uh, then it took a while for SWAT to come get us because we have such a big campus, they had to take a while to clear it. How do you think things change at the school now? Could you repeat that? How do you think things will change now at the school? Um, I think now, a little bit, like as of right now, there's going to be a bigger police presence on campus. But sadly, I don't think that anything, anything is going to really change in the next coming week. I think everything's going to stay the same. Um, I don't think that we're going to have... The only thing, the only difference is we're going to have increased security by police officers. I don't think that anything specifically other than that will change in the security at our school.
All right, Kyle, we appreciate you joining it's us Saturday. this morning. We all send our Thank love and, and support to you and all of your friends and, and colleagues at the school. Kyle, good luck going back today. Thank you. Thank you.